Hello everyone, welcome to Almighty Tricks. There is a question in lead code. We need to find max chunks to max sorted. Okay, so the question is saying like uh, uh, we can have one array. In that array, we can have elements from zero to n minus one. Okay, so it will start from zero till n minus one. Those elements we can have, but in in uh, not in sorted order. Okay, so it is saying we need to split. Uh, split in a number or we need to split in a chunks uh, uh, chunks that it will sort the array okay so what i mean so take this uh, second example okay so the number inputs are like one zero two three four okay so we need to sort this in a order like we need to sort uh, uh, we need to sort this uh, number and we need to return the large number of chunks okay it is saying large number of chunks okay so if you see if we uh, if this 2 3 4 is already sorted okay and 1 0 is not sorted so if i take 1 0 and 2 3 4 two separate chunks then it will it will work like it will uh, it will sort the array okay so it is saying uh, the large number of chunks we need to sort right we need to uh, return so we can do one thing we can like one zero we can take okay one chunk and two another chunk three another chunk and four another chunk so we can take total four number of chunks right okay let's uh, uh, let's go to the uh, notepad and let's see how we can solve this one okay so the input is like same same input i'll take one zero two three and four okay zero one two three four index okay so it is saying the input will be always zero to n minus one okay zero to n minus one so we can get to know from this uh, uh, info like we can have number of we can have number of index number of index equals to number of element right but this element in is not in sorted order okay so let's uh, let's example if it is a sorted order okay if uh, the if it is sorted okay so it will be 0 1 2 3 and 4 right so the index will be what 0 1 2 3 and 4 okay so so if you see the index value and element value will be the same okay so we'll we'll use this concept we'll try to try to use like chaining concept called chaining concept and we'll implement this code okay say okay I have let's say one zero two three and four okay zero one two three and four this is the index okay now let me take one let me take one variable called max which is initially minus infinity okay and the count i need to i need to return total maximum number of chunks okay so in this example in this example the maximum number number of chunks we can return one zero two three and four total total four number of chunks we can return okay let's see how we can achieve okay so first of all this is one okay so the first element is one right so our max will be what we need to check this max is currently we have max is minus infinity so this is greater than minus infinity right so i can put the uh, max is one okay and count will be initially zero okay so when i can when i can increment the count the uh, the count will increment when when the number and the uh, index is same 
when the number and index is same that time i will increment the count so as this is one and zero the indexes are different so what i'll do i'll put is put here is zero okay so this one okay this one can go till here right zero to one it will go till here the the range of one will be till here right till this index one one index okay so the max will be here if i see the max is zero sorry uh, the the element is zero but the max is one so i will not update it will be same one but here if you see the the index is one the index is one and the max value is one so what i'll do i'll count i'll increment the count so the count will be one now okay now i'll go to next element so max is what the element is two currently the element is two but max is one so i'll update this max okay this is become two okay if you see this two and two both are same index okay so i'll increment the count two next go to uh, third element fourth element so this is the this is the element present in this array so and and max is 2 so i'll update the max 3 and the index are the same index and element are same so i'll uh, increment this count to 3 okay then go to next element this is 4 so 3 and 4 so 4 is maximum so index is also 4 so i'll increment the count 4 so this is the answer we need to return we need to return this answer let's take another example let's say a is like 5 6 1 3 0 2 4 Okay. 1 2 3 4 5 6 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay the indexes are like 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay now take this approach this is my max initially it is infinitive minus infinitive and count initially is zero okay these are my numbers five six one three zero two and four okay the indexes are like zero one two three four five and six okay now dry run this so max is minus infinitive or minus uh, the very less number okay so here is i am getting 5 so i will update the max okay so each uh, 5 is similar to index no so count will be 0 now in move to second index second element so my previous max is 5 the current currently the element is 6 so i will update the max each 6 is same as index no so 0 now come to here so one so i'll not update this one okay so it will be six okay because this is the maximum one this is the smaller one so i'll not um, uh, update so it will be six is six is same as index no zero is six is so here also i need to i will not update because three is small so six so six is same is three no it is zero okay six is same as six is greater than uh, zero so i'll not update because zero is very small and index is not same so count is zero similarly here also same thing i'll not update count is zero here also i'll not update the max so count is six and sorry max is six but count if you see the indexes are same so i'll put the count one so this will be the answer okay. let's take another example see another example i have like uh, 2 1 0 4 
four, three, five. Okay. And indexes are like zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Initially, my max is minus infinity, count is zero. Okay. Now, is 2 is greater than max? Yes, I'll update. Is 2 is same as index? No. It will, it will same 0. Okay. Is 2 is greater than 1? No. So, I'll not increment the max. So, it is same. Is 2 is same as index? No. 0. Is 2 is greater than 0? No. Uh, each 2 is greater than 0? Yes. So, I will not update the max. So, it will be 2. But the indexes are same. So, I will increment the count here. Each 2 is greater than 4? No. It is not greater than 4. So, I need to count. I need to update the max. So, it will be 4. Each 4 is same as index? No. I will not update the count. It will be 1 only. Then, each 4 is greater than 3? Yes. So, the max will not update as it is a 3 so 4 will be 4 but the indexes are same so I will increment to count 2 similarly go to next index so this is 5 element is 5 but the max is 4 so I will update the max so it will be 5 and indexes are same so it will become 3 so this is our answer ok so the code will be very simple code will be very simple so what i will do int array i have this array okay int and the size of array okay then i will take int max let's say minus one because our uh, elements will be from zero to n okay n minus one so it will not have the minus one so I can take max as minus one initially then int count count initially will be zero okay now take the for loop so for loop will start from zero to n minus one okay zero to n minus one and here we I need to take if condition if I need to check whether this uh, max value is greater than um, element or not if it is greater than if it is not greater than element then I need to update the max value so if max is less than a of i is less than a of i so what I'll do I'll update the max okay now so this part is done okay this part is done max part is done okay now I need to check the index if index is there, index is same, then I'll increment the count. Okay. If max equals to equals to i, then I'll increment the count. Okay. Then I'll return count. So uh, the here, if you see, this is the time complexity we are using big O of n time space complexity we are using big O of 1 which is constant okay so this logic can be uh, can be uh, so I am writing in Java but this can this can be implemented in different different language the, but the logic will be same okay okay let's code this concept so I will take int n the length of the array a r dot length i'll take the max is minus one i'll take count which is zero i'll take for loop which will start from zero t and minus one i less than i less than n means n minus one okay i plus plus okay if here i'll check if max value is 
max value is greater than a of i sorry less than a of i then i'll increment the i'll i'll update the max value with a of i okay here i need to check if max value is same as index if it is same as index then i'll increment the count and finally i'll return count okay let's be let's uh, compile this okay i'm getting some error what is the error okay sorry it should be a error let's submit okay hope you understood this approach uh, thank you for watching this video